Thank you, Tatum. 601 is the time now. Riverside County has a new initiative. It's aimed at improving the lives of people in the East Valley. Part of that county plan involves introducing several public infrastructure projects. News Channel 3's Crystal Jimenez is live in studio this morning with more on what some of those projects include. Crystal. Good morning, Jeff. With this initiative, the county is trying to really make the quality of life for these residents much better. And that's through a variety of ways, which include through their water and sewer, their electricity, telecommunications, housing, all the way to the community facilities and the Sultan Sea. This is expected to be done through what is be call, being called the ECV Prospera. A huge piece of making this happen is the county's effort establishing what would be considered an enhanced infrastructure financing district for the East Valley. Starting today, the nonprofit called Alianza Coachella Valley is partnering with the county and reaching out to the community to talk about ECV Prospera. There are a few meetings happening, the first one being today in Mecca. That meeting will be from 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. at the Mecca Boys and Girls Club. And then there will be one later on this evening from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. at the same location. Supervisor Manuel Perez is a huge part of this initiative. He says that this plan really is to help residents with major investments and improvements in their communities of North Shore, Mecca, Thermal Oasis, and Vista Santa Rosa. The meetings happening today are expected to build out this initiative more and really identify projects that can help the community longer term. Live in the studio, Crystal Jimenez, News Channel 3. Okay, in some cases, just basic infrastructure, but uh, desperately needed in some of those East Valley communities. Thanks so much. Time now is 6.03. The state is honoring its fallen officers this week. A candlelight vigil was held last night in Sacramento ahead of this morning's enrollment ceremony. Attorney General Rob Bonta announced the roll call for the fallen soldiers, the fallen officers, that is. The nine names will be added to bronze plaques on the California Peace Officers Memorial Monument in Sacramento. Riverside County Sheriff's Deputy Isaiah Cordero is included in the ceremony. The 32-year-old died during a shootout with a suspect in Harupa Valley back in December. Also, Correctional Lieutenant Stephen Taylor, who died of COVID complications last February. Today's ceremony will begin at 10.30 a.m. Palm Springs Police are